Joe Lamb with Clearwater Industries. This is the CW2500 RPC rectangular portable clarifier. We're shipping today. It's going up to northern Wisconsin to do stormwater treatment. This is the main feed here. This is where water is going to come into the unit. We've got the flocculent pump here, the dilution water pump for the flocculent feed, and the turbidity pump. This unit is checking the inflow and outflow turbidity. This is a 60 horse, 1500 GPM uh, trash pump. It's got a 26 foot dry suction head on it. This is gonna be able to pull from, the, from a pond up to this unit here. Uh, we're gonna feed this with HDPE pipe and then hose that over to the feed. We're able to add this pump really late in the design and build process and still integrate the controls and electronics into the system. This unit's 53 feet long, it's 12 and a half feet wide, holds about 18,000 gallons. We've got hydraulic jacking legs here, the, run, the landing gear for the trailer. This is an air compressor that's going to do the air sparging on some of the instruments as well as actuate the knife gates and the pneumatic valves up front. This is a Honda hydraulic pack that's going to provide power to all the jacking legs the controls for that. As we look underneath, we can see the two cone bottom collection sites and the knife gates that are gonna provide sequencing of mud removal for the clarifier. We've got two horsepower electric gear reducers that are driving the tri-arm rakes. We'll see those above. And the mud pump that is removing solids from the system. We have this door here to allow for a super sack to be loaded. You can see there's a super sack holding tray up there and that's going to be able to be removed by a fork truck to allow for a 1600 pound super sack of clay flocculent to be introduced to the system. We're inside our doghouse control enclosure now. This is where we have our polymer make down and our control panel with our HMI and PLC. Control the polymer system, clarifier screen, setup screen, it's got different alarms, all auto functions. You can see we're tracking the influent and effluent turbidity, as well as providing automatic polymer dosing with our autoflock system. This is our clay flocculent feeder. This is where a super sack will be suspended. We've got a dry feeder and a wetting system that's going to uh, rapidly hydrate the clay flocculent and pressurize and introduce it into the system. As we make our way over here, you can see the turbidity instruments as well as the AC and heat unit on the back of the trailer. This unit has been spray foam insulated and with wall boards, so once it's all sealed up, it stays pretty nice in here. Behind the ladder, we have some of the electronics that aren't gonna need service. This is the main feed that's gonna come in from the customer. This is about 150 amps of 483 phase. This feeds the control panel as well as the transformers for our lights uh, and our air compressor on board. This is our auto flock probe. This is providing automated flocculent addition to the system. We put this in the flock zone and it's measuring light absorption in that flock zone, providing a 4 to 20 milliamp signal to the polymer pumps for flow pacing. We're above the main sedimentation and settling area of the clarifier. Flow underflows the baffle and enters the, the main volume of the tank where we've got two tri-arm rakes pulling solids to a central location. All the sloped surfaces within the clarifier are coated with a low surface energy paint. This is a slick coated system that allows for solids to easily migrate to the center. We've included two baffles on the top for floaters. These baffles can be adjusted for the operator's preference to prevent floaters or to knock them back down to suspension, take that air off of them so they drop. As the solids drop out, we're left with clean water on the top. That's going to make its way towards this end of the clarifier where we've got V-notched finger weirs for clean water overflow. Up top, we can see the two 14-inch pneumatic discharge valves. One's to waste, one's to clean water. And based on the pH and the turbidity of that water and the set points in the PLC, we can dictate whether that water meets spec or needs to go back and return to the process. The operator can set pH and turbidity set points right from the HMI. Inside the control enclosure, you can see the main feed coming in to the main disconnect and the distribution block. You can see the fuses, and the motor starters, and VFDs. On the bottom, we have the PLC, our auto flock devices, 
so you can see the backs of the HMI. That concludes the walkthrough of our CW2500 rectangular portable clarifier. This unit has been customized to go into stormwater treatment, specifically cleaning up a stormwater pond, but there's several other industries that this could be used in. It can be used to provide temporary treatment if a clarifier or large diameter has gone down and needs maintenance. This can be used in sand and gravel, dredging, drilling, any liquid solid separation, this unit could be used and modified for. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about our process here in Clearwater Industries.